Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel, Pixel and Frisket Finds. My name is Michelle, and I've got you back at work with me today for a new episode of Come to Work With Me. A series in which we go through the vintage inventory that we have here at the jewelry store where I work, and then we pick out the priority pieces, so that when I do get time to list on eBay, I can go straight to the good stuff. If you haven't already, click subscribe. That way we can hang out again. And if you like, you could click the little circle icon down in the corner with the two robots in love and that'll take you right to my channel where you can binge watch all of the playlists I have. I do hauls at home in my own inventory as well as uh, this come to work with me series, but we've been doing this a lot. <laughs> I kind of, I ran out of stuff at home, but I seem to have an endless supply here, so this has become the main focus of my channel for the last year, I would say. Um, yeah, and down in the description box below, you'll find links for our eBay stores and emails. If you have any questions, please get in touch with me. I'd love to hear from you. So, we are finishing off some stuff from our last episode where I had a bunch of cool pearl stuff and I have a bunch of pearls beside me to finish up today and then we'll get back into some sparklies. Nothing wrong with the pearls. I'm enjoying the pearls. This is our fourth bag from this brand Honora and uh, this this one's zipper has seen better days but let's uh, let's get into it. This is the the first one we'll pull out here. And it is really pretty. Look at that. It's got white and like that blue iridescent Tahitian pearl. It's a short length, like a choker length, but I think that's really pretty. It's nice and heavy, really clacky, and super pretty on the pearls. Look at those colors. The clasp is here. I think it's just a 925 clasp, I believe. Her? I can't see. Yeah, 925. But if I rub the two pearls together, yeah, I can tell they're real. And I think they're real pretty. <laughs> Let's put them there, I suppose. Start with that. And the next bag here. Let's see what you have. Ah, just a white pair, or pair strand, I should say. I don't want these bags here. Let's get them out of here. <clears throat> so, we have a similar length, both of them, and this one's just all white. But I really like the irregularity of this, the shape of these pearls. And if we check out the clasp, is it gold? No, well, it says something there. 14 carat, I think. Well, zoom in, I guess. That would help. Yeah, 14 carat gold clasp. And beautiful strand of pearls. I'm going to drape you guys here because we have more to go. So, hang on. I should have measured this before I started. I can I realize now, but I've got this this strand here. <clears throat> and it is super long. Really long. <laughs> Big chunky pearls. It's very heavy. I'm going to grab my measuring tape here because I think this one you could easily wrap around your neck three times, I bet. I'm just going to dangle it here and get a a rough measurement. We are looking at an overall length of 70 inches. Wow! That's a lot of pearls, guys. That's a lot of pearls. 70 inches of pearls. Yeah, I'm pretty sure most people would be able to wrap that around their neck three times, and that's pretty cool. I like that. Here's another pearl strand. This has sort of a pinkish tone, and then there's that one really kind of purple one there, isn't it? That's kind of funny. 
Hmm, I wonder how that happened, but I like it. <laughs> it's a little like offset, but it's a really pretty light purple color. And then like a little bit of a pinkish hue on some of them. And we have another 925 clasp. Let's lay you here. We're going to end up with quite a pile of pearls here. This is an interesting looking one. They're all very squat. I'm sure there's a name for that shape of a pearl, but they're like short and fat and real. I keep thinking I'm going to pull one that's not real in this pile, but I don't imagine that'll happen. And we have a sterling silver clasp there as well. I think that's unique though in the, in the shape of those pearls. Let's put that one there. Talking of... Speaking of unique, uniquely shaped pearls, look at these guys. There's like these long, skinny Baroque, Baroque pearls with three littles in between. Real, of course. There's no clasp on this one, but that's a pretty cool strand. Unique. I haven't seen one with long long pearls like that. Let's put that in the front here. It's going to get pretty pearly in this background here. Okay, next is, well, another one exactly the same. <laughs> we'll put you there. Now, here's another choker. Looks like uh, it might have been sisters with the one that had that purple because we do have some little pink ones and another 925 clasp. Oh my gosh, what do I do with all of these? <laughs> it's just going to become a hodgepodge. So here, let's mix it up a little. We have a bracelet. It's on a elastic. It's stretchy and real. Good stretch. Nice. Good to get something slightly different. Still pearls, but... Oh, <laughs> another one of these with the long... Oops. The long Baroque. And here are two more, three more, four more like the one that had the little purple with the, the pinkish tone ones and they've all got the same sterling clasp and different sizes one of them has some larger pearls there but um, other than that the color variation is really pretty yeah those are nice okay piles of pearls one more and then we can get sparklies out this one has no strand that's sort of an elongated um sort of oval shaped pearl and a nice variation in color there as well lots of nice sort of pinkish peachy tones okay well now we have to plant some other things on top here and the next thing I have beside me is a bag of bangles. It's a bangle bag. And, uh, well, let's see what we have here. A lot of navy blue. So I have three that look like this. And are they sterling? Let's see what we can see. So that's inside of the band and I don't see a mark for sterling though it does have that sort of tarnishy look it's really pretty they're they're very pretty this one in the middle is a bit lighter in color they're fairly wide Let's see if we can see a mark on this one oh maybe it looks like sterling was stamped there actually See if this one is a bit clearer, if anything. Nothing. Hmm. 
Really pretty though. Nice and sparkly. We can stack them up there. That's nice. And then we have a collection of bangles that look like this. Again, with the, the blue, the two tones of blue are, are both there, the dark and the light. And uh, these ones are skinny and really pretty. Great condition. They look like uh, the, the silver side could use a polish, obviously, but other than that, what's, what's not to like here? Looking for a mark. I'm not going to check all of these little ones, but, but, um, yeah, they would be fun to stack up, wouldn't they? They can all go over here, I think. Hey, okay. or should we move a couple around? Put one up here. No, just leave them there. Okay. Okay. So we'll move into another bag. And see what we can see. Oh. Hmm, let's see. This is a necklace here, and it's got kind of a rose gold tone. And it's it's got a lot going on. This started to remind me immediately of the Kirk's Folly stuff that we found recently. Oh, and that's because it's also Kirk's Folly. <laughs> that's why it reminds me of it. Cool. There's the hang tag, the toggle. Toggle? Hmm. Oh, ah, because it would toggle. Okay, it doubles up. No? I don't understand how, how a person wears this one. Hmm, interesting. So, at the back there is the toggle that we just looked at, but there's no, like, hole that it's that it's toggling through. Nice AB crystal beads along the way. Interesting link choices were made. And then it leads down to this centerpiece here. And it's really pretty. And then all these charms are just on lobster clasps. I don't know if that's Kirk's Folly or if you just add that on or or what I guess we'll find out more about it but let's zoom in and have a look at what's on here so there's this moon with a flower on it flower bud I guess that says always it's got the same AB rhinestones up the back side of it well I think it's a strawberry isn't it like it looks like a little enamel strawberry then there's this little Locket, Rem I remember you by heart. And it's got the same kind of stones there. Let's pop it open. A little glitter action, but no, it's not perfume or anything. <laughs> and then there's this piece here, sort of a arrowhead crystal AB coated, and it says forever. Huh. And so, yeah, I wonder you would you could buy different charms from Kirk's Folly, I guess, to customize your necklace. I'm guessing something like that was the original plan. Okay, I haven't uh, past Michelle has not yet, or future Michelle, whatever the other version of me has not yet edited. The Kirk's Folly episodes. Uh, so I don't know yet what kind of value we might be looking at there. Okay, we've got some bead bead necklaces here. This one has really pretty colors, sort of uh, like Amazonite, Jade, Aventurine. Maybe. <laughs> Toggle clasp. They are cold and heavy. Let's zoom in a bit, because I, I don't think that they're just glass. There's a lot of depth and color going on here. They're so pretty. It's uh, cold and clacky. And here's our clasp. Let's see if there's a 925 on here somewhere. 
I don't know. I don't see anything. I'm not sure. But very pretty. Nice colors. And then I see some cloisonne beads here. This is kind of cute. I don't know. Look at this. So it's like pastel, iridescent, tiny little glass seed beads. And then every now and then there is a little cloisonne bead as well. It's a fairly long length, something that you'd probably layer. But isn't it kind of weird? Like the, I don't think that the cloisonne beads match the the little seed beads very well. Like they look like Easter colors, which these are kind of egg shaped, so that may that makes sense in my brain. But I don't know. It feels odd. It feels odd. You go over here, weirdo. <laughs> I like it. I like its individual parts. Okay, another bead necklace here. That's what we seem to have a lot of coming up. And this one has some really cool beads too. Little glass. They're all glass. It's two, two strands, but the, the larger stations um, gather them together, giving room for them to separate here in between. These have a bit of an AB coating. They're a bit iridescent looking. These colors are so pretty though. I love it. Love the colors. Oh, here's the clasp. <laughs> oh goodness. Okay, so it's just a super pretty eyeglasses chain or strand or string or whatever you want to call it. It's really pretty. Anyway, I don't care if it's for glasses. I have glasses, but I wear them all day, so I wouldn't be uh, taking them on and off again. And then here's another one. This is, uh, but this has a clasp, or not a clasp, but a necklace type end. It's not for glasses. It doesn't open and close. So maybe it was for glasses. I don't know. But it's the same kind of idea where there's two strands brought together by uh, a larger bead station. And this one's got kind of a movie, a movie look going. And here is blue. And this one is for eyeglasses again here. We've got the eyeglass attachments. But look at that bright, bright blue. The same uh, double strand situation. I really like these matte glass cobalt blue beads up at the eyeglass attachment. Let's get in closer and have a better look see. Ooh, they're so pretty. Those colors are gorgeous. Hmm, I like it. This one is gonna stand out amongst all the pearls, I think. Let's do that. And let's keep with the same sort of color theme. Here's another one. Woo! That blue is electric. Look at that. Wow, that color is amazing. Along with the blue and a little AB coating. And uh, double strand again. Brought together by these big purple glass beads. Now, even though these look exactly the same as these other ones that have been for glasses, we actually have a different clasp on this one uh, for a necklace. And there's no mark on that clasp. So, I don't know, maybe someone someone got crafty and made it this way, made it that way, made it a necklace, made it a, for glasses. Somebody got crafty. I'm not going to spend much time on this next item. I've got three of them, and anyone who's in this jewelry bag opening game knows that we get a ton of these. These magnetic... You know, make it a bracelet, make it a necklace, buy it in Mexico, um, bracelets. Yeah. Sometimes they break in the bags that we get and uh, all these little magnets stick into everything. 
Anyway, they're going to go up in this corner here. Just a little ball of sparkle. That's your job now, sparkle ball. All right, here is another necklace. Ooh, I'm looking at the tag before I show you. <gasps> okay, okay, here it is. Those are fun colors. So you see there's a China tag there, but on the other side is Kenneth J. Lane. It's this gold curb chain that uh, comes down. These are, are they glass? I think they're glass. But yeah, those colors are gorgeous. I love it. And then suddenly this blue. These ones feel plastic, but the little green ones are glass. And then these sparkle balls. And then it gathers up down to these pieces here. With a sparkly headed jellyfish. <laughs> I like that a lot. Those are my colors. Those are my colors. Nice. Look at how full this looks already. Thanks to all those pearls. It's going to be a nice thumbnail. Here is a bracelet. It has glass AB coated faceted beads. And it's on this dark metal. I don't know if that's tarnished or no, I would say it's meant to be dark. And it's got this charm hanging on it, which is uh, silver with a little piece of moonstone. But it's not very uh, moonstone-y. <laughs> you know what I mean? Let me see if I can get a flash of color here. Let's see if I can flash you. Uh, a little bit there. Hmm. Tricky one. Just doesn't have a lot of it. And um, that's something to look for when you're shopping for moonstone or labradorite. You always want to make sure you get one that's got a good, good amount of color. Um, so here is another beaded necklace. It's a bit darker and uh, more earth tone. It kind of matches one of the earrings that we had on the Christmas Eve episode. Oh. What does that say? I gotta get my loop. All right, got the loop. Let's see, what do you say? Hmm, flip it over. I think it says 120th, yeah. So that lobster clasp is gold filled. Yeah, I like the I like the colors of this as well. Um, but it's just not really my style. Not something I think I would wear. Here's like a leather strap choker length um, necklace with this piece of shell carved into a flower that's very pretty like a light pink and then tan color on the leather it's really nice looking like it's newish and we have a tag as well let's see so the clasp is marked 925 and the tag come on 925 and then R with like a crescent moon. Hmm. I've never seen that before. Never ever. Never have I ever. Get Kirk's folly over top of it. There. Okay. The next one is this. I already really like the look of this one. She's multi strand. Here's the lobster clasp. No marks. But, uh, oh, I like this already. It has a graduated length going on, triple strand. 
It's uh, like burgundy and gold color faux pearl. I would say they're gloss. They are gathered up together here on one end and then this is what they look like. I think that's really nice. Um, whether I can make it hang properly, I don't know. Let me try putting it on a bust. Let me bust in here with a bust. Oh my gosh, you're not going to be able to see that. I got to, hang on, let me get it on there and then I'll move the camera. I love to wear a multi-strand necklace, but I find it's difficult to keep it straight. you got to really commit for the day to maintaining its integrity. Ooh, this is so cool looking on, though. Let me straighten you out a bit there. Look at her. Isn't that cool? That would look so nice on. Hmm, let's come out into a different light. Look at you. Yeah. Oh, don't fall off. Anyway, love it. Love it. We got to take this bust out of here. I don't have room for that. There's no room for that. Okay, where is she going to show up? She's going to blend right in. We're never going to notice her. Like that. What a mess. We got a mess going here. Okay, so I have some smaller items. I don't really want to unpack this whole thing, but here we go. This is related to that shell, I think, but they're just like uh, loose pieces to be made into something. And then here is a little, uh, what was that? Anyway, little pearl studs there. Nice, nice. And uh, the other thing that was in there, hmm, I'm not sure what to make of this either yet. Let's see, here's the card that came with it. Simply Pinna. Simply Pinna. Whoa. I have worked very hard to bring comfort and fun to earrings. The pinna ring will introduce you to another way of wearing your our earrings. The pierced earring over time will eventually cause our earlobes to get larger, the hole bigger, and often causes the ear to rip. The only other known alternative is clip-ons. Look and feel great for 10 minutes before the throbbing begins. The pinna finally gives us the opportunity to wear all kinds of fashion earrings without the fear of pain or injury. I have been wearing the pinna ring for nearly two years, making sure it truly provides comfort. I would never deceive another woman. <laughs> My design introduces you to another way of wearing earrings. I know you will love the pinna ring. Ciao, Bella. Love, Max. Hmm... So you choose which one you want. Oh, look at that. It goes up into the conch of your ear. Huh. Now take your earring and insert it. Whoa. Okay, let's take a look at this thing. Here's one. So it's like a clip-on, but into the conch of your ear, and then your earring hangs off of here. Oh my gosh, what the what? I'm trying one on right now. Oh, that feels weird right away. That feels super weird. Gotta shove my earlobe in there. Huh. Yeah, I mean, I can see how that would work. I don't feel it there. Oh, I don't know. Interesting, isn't it? Yeah, so there's a group of them in silver tone and gold tone. You know. Well, I'll have to remember that we have these around because there are people who uh, don't wear that kind because of the uh, because of their ears. Okay, this is it. I can't fit any more in here. This is literally all you get. 
And as far as priority listing items go, pearls, 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 of course. Um, the eyeglass strands, I don't know, I guess. But you know what you sell them as now is they're for, for your mask. That's what you do. You hang your mask on there. I never, I'm never like on off, on off with the mask anyway. Not enough to warrant needing to hang it from my neck. But anyway, I would say that we have a lot of priority listing items. I like the Kenneth J. Lane. I like the Kirk's Folly. All of this stuff. Lots of good stuff. There's so much to see in here, isn't there? Thank you so much for joining me. If you haven't already, click subscribe. That way we can hang out again. And if you click the little circle icon with the robots in love, that'll take you right to my channel and you can check it all out. There's a lot to see there. Thank you so much for joining me and I'll talk to you soon.